This is The Green Room. I'm Caitlin Matson. Jamie Minimum is the current KMEA board president. That's Kansas Music Educators Association. And they are gearing up for their annual in-service workshop, their convention, where thousands of young musicians and educators come to Wichita to perform and learn. Jamie, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Well, first, I want to start off talking about you personally. You work at Barton Community College, correct? Yes, I'm the Director of Instrumental Activities at Barton. This is my second year here, uh, and that basically just means I'm in charge of all things instrumental, <laughs> band, jazz band, uh, pep band, orchestra, lessons, you name it. So, And I recently learned that you are a Kansas woman through and through. I am, yes. I am born and raised in Southwest Kansas, uh, graduated from Southwestern Heights High School, and then went on to Washburn University, where I was in Ichabod and majoring in music education. Uh, and then a few years later, I got my master's at Kansas State University. So, And this is your first, the first year of your term as president. Yes. Um, and it seems like you've had a lot of firsts as you last year ended your first year at your position at Barton County. And now your first year as president of KMEA. And you knew it was coming, you know, you know, a few years out, you're president-elect, you're gearing up for it. And this is your very first state convention. How has the, the lead up been for you? So the planning is intense. Uh, it actually starts in uh, the summer before, really. Um, so we have performance groups that submit auditions, and those are actually listened to in the summer and selected. We have 43 groups that were selected to perform this year. Uh, and then in October, we have a committee of people that go through all of the clinic proposals and select all of the teachers uh, that are going and clinicians that are going to be coming in to present. I think we have over 120 clinics uh, over the three days. So that's awesome. Um, but you were talking about first, yeah, it's, this is a couple of other firsts uh, have been the fact that we are starting the, the convention earlier this year. So I was able to schedule more clinic sessions and more concerts. And we just keep adding all state groups for our <laughs> students and it's taking away uh, professional development time for our teachers. So we wanted to to add some of that, that back in. So that's it's been uh, exciting and challenging to kind of do a quote unquote new schedule this year. So. In addition to the groups that submit audition recordings to perform, and in addition to the the um, continued ed education for the educators, students from as young as elementary school all the way through high school audition for all state ensembles. Mm -hmm. And when you're a musician in high school, and that is your thing, you know, you you're not on the basketball team, you know, you don't play football, you are a musician. This is your state. Auditioning and being selected for this group is your state. Um, so it's very important for the students and such an exciting time. And at one point, there were only, I think, maybe three groups. There was three high school groups, and that was it. And now, yeah. now there are so many. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that you mentioned. I was thinking about that the other day because I... I actually was fortunate. I growing up at Southwestern Heights, I was able to do everything, and that's one reason I'm such a proponent for small schools. Uh, it just makes such well-rounded students, and and I was uh, extremely grateful to be a part of a, a state championship basketball team, as well as being a, an all-state musician. Um, so I've always just really kind of treasured that about my school and my and my uh, education. And um, but yeah, you're right. It was. I was in the orchestra and we had an orchestra, a choir and one band and that was it. And we had one big concert with all three. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, now we've expanded to 12 groups, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's That's so great. Exciting. And there are elementary uh, choirs as well. No. Yeah. So we start all. Yeah. So we have an elementary choir. We have a middle level choir and then obviously the high school choir. And it's even expanded to a mixed choir and a treble choir. So there are two high school choirs. Uh, and then the bands have expanded from 
um, just one to a five, six, a band and a one, two, three, four, a band. And then we have also added a one, two, a honor band, which is available to just those one and two, a school students that um, it's a paper audition. They have to have auditioned for their district honor bands but it's not a true all state. It's just a nomination from their teachers. But to get more, we were seeing that we just weren't the one and two A uh, students were not making it into the one, two, three, four A band. And so this is just another opportunity to get them to the convention and to experience that. So yeah, let's, if we were to kind of, you know, di dissect that a little bit, one and two A schools, small schools, rural schools, so often they're just, there aren't the resources for young musicians to take private lessons. They can't just buzz into Wichita or buzz up to Kansas City to take a private lesson. Um, so so oftentimes, although they have immense talent, um, the resources just aren't there to nurture it in such a way that they would make it into a group. Exactly. So we, yeah, we just wanted to give those kids that opportunity to experience the the convention. And it's been, this is the third year of that group. And, and uh, every year it's the number of students that have submitted a paper audition has grown. We had over a hundred students this year. So there's the interest is is there and it has also increased then those students are more excited and they try even harder the next year to get into that one, two, three, four A band. And so they are, we've seen an uptick in the number of students that are auditioning at the live auditions for that group as well. So uh, we'll be back and talk more with Jamie Minimum, who is a KEMA board president, about the upcoming All-State Convention. Nimrods from Sir Edward Elgar's Enigma Variations. This is the Green Room. I'm talking with Jamie Minimum, who is the new KEMA board president, uh, about the upcoming in-service workshop and convention. Once a year, thousands of musicians will be in Wichita, students and educators alike, performing for each other. Um, there's uh, a lot of life continued learning um, opportunities for the educators as well. Uh, now, Jamie, uh, the concerts are, they're open to the public for friends and family or anybody that just wants to hear some good music. Yeah. So um, as she mentioned, we have about 1500 Kansas students ranging from third grade through 12th grade. Um, we even have a, an intercollegiate band. So there are some collegiate students that'll be performing on Friday afternoon. Uh, but yeah, open to the public. We do have some ticketed events. So the all state groups starting on Thursday at five o'clock with the elementary honor choir. Uh, those are our ticketed events, events in Century 2 in the concert hall. Um, and the elementary choir is going to be conducted this year by Dr. Herbert Washington. And that'll be immediately followed by the KCDA uh, Treble Honor Choir. And then uh, the middle level choir with Brandon Boyd will be on Saturday at 1030. We have a string orchestra and a uh, full orchestra. And those will be in Century 2 in the concert hall as well. Uh, those are high school groups. And then the treble choir and the mixed choir are actually an exhibition hall where you and I would have performed. <laughs> and back so in the day, we won't say how yeah, many years. how long that was. Yeah. <laughs> so those are back to back to back starting at 1130. Those are also um, ticketed events. And then the jazz band is in Mary Jane Teal at 12 o'clock. Uh, and then our the one two a honor band that I mentioned before will kind of kick off all of the the band concerts in the afternoon, uh, and that one's at one o'clock. Then the five six a band will follow that at three o'clock, and then finish up with the one two three four a band at five o'clock. So lots and of performances. There's so much great music happening. Kmea.org. K M E A dot K S M E A. Yeah, we we have to put an S in there, or otherwise you get to Kentucky, I believe. So <laughs> K S M E A Kansas Music yeah. Educators Association. K S M E A dot org for tickets. Yes. Um, I wish you good health and good luck and comfortable shoes because I <laughs> I fully understand that a week from now you're going to be completely dead to the world but I know it's going to be a really successful fulfilling few days yeah. and just thank you you know as somebody who thrived in high school only due to music and opportunities like KMEA just thank you for all of your hard work that you're doing you and your board are doing and all of your 
chair people. And I know it takes a village to put this on. It does. Thank you so much for saying that. We appreciate that. All right. Have a great conference. Thank you.